I've struggled through stuff and I still struggle with stuff. I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the things I've struggled through and some of the things I've struggled with. And there's a few things I want you to take away from this. The difference between effort and struggle. It's a lot easier to put effort into something if you're seeing results. It's a lot easier to put the next hour of effort in. When you're putting effort in and there's no results, you can't see progress, nothing's coming right. That's when we start seeing a wall. Uh, I don't know if I can do this. I'm worried that it may never come right. What's going to happen if I look stupid? That's struggle. So I want to be really clear that I'm going to talk about stuff that I've struggled with. And there's quite a few of them. <laughs> um, the other thing I want you to pay attention to is struggle through. Struggle through means that these are situations where I've hit the wall, I've looked at the wall, and it was very difficult to figure out how to get past the wall. And yet I did. And I want you to know that because when you're struggling with stuff and when you're facing a wall, you need to know that there is something on the other side of that wall and you need to figure out a way to break through that wall. And it does happen and can happen. The other thing I want you to be aware of is that struggling doesn't end with studying. Struggling isn't something that you're doing because... Um, you're not qualified, for example. And that's something I come across a lot as well, Yvonne, uh, you know, professionals don't struggle. And once I'm finished with my studying, then I'm not going to struggle anymore. The reason that I'm struggling is because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm stupid. I'm not smart enough or whatever. And um, that's, it's important to realize that struggling is not going to end with your studying. Sorry about that. <laughs> because Whenever anyone is doing something challenging, whenever they're doing something new, whenever they're moving into a more challenging role, there is going to be struggle because you're doing something that you haven't done before, you're doing something tough, you're doing something challenging, and so struggle is going to be a part of life. And the important thing is that realization and is the practice and is the resilience of, I'm struggling, how do I get past? Not can I get past, but how can I get past? So I'm going to tell you some stuff that I've struggled through and some stuff that I'm still struggling with because I want you to realize that everyone struggles and they just maybe look different, but the concept is the same. So you can kind of use this maybe as a little library when you need a little motivation uh, and, you know, go through some, <laughs> go through some of them. So I got really, really good marks in school and got some really bad career advice, went to a technical college to finish my high school and did not have university entrance. When I finished, when I finished at, at, at college um, and I applied to universities, no universities in the country would accept me and every one of them told me that I would never study for a degree in the country. Um, even though I had the highest marks in, you know, the entire, in, in my year, uh, every university told me. I would never study for a degree, I would never get a degree. And that was heartbreaking for me because I knew that I wanted to be a chartered accountant and I needed a degree. So that was definitely a wall. I was 17 at the time and I had no help, you know, no role models. I didn't know anyone that could help me. And yet it was such an important thing for me that I just kept on asking and phoning and, um, eventually started getting information about what I needed to do to to be able to bridge that gap. And so I worked and studied for two years. So age 18 and 19, I was working full time and I was studying whatever I could, whatever they told me I needed to study in order to just get university entrance. And throughout that time, I was just told no, 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 no. So that was my wall and I honestly didn't know if I would ever get past that wall because everyone told me that I wouldn't and it didn't feel good. After those two years and studying a bunch of stuff, I eventually did register for my degree and it was an amazing experience. It was an amazing feeling to know that I had managed to do that. I hadn't even started the degree yet, but I felt such a sense of achievement and that was, you know, that was a big struggle. That was a big struggle for me. And I often wonder what would have happened if I didn't struggle, you know, if I just accepted what other people told me and, you know, backed off. What would my life look like? You know, what would your life look like if the stuff that people are telling you you can't do or won't do or can't, you know, if you feel like you can't do it, what's your life going to look like if you stop struggling?